Hi there, my name is Carlos and I'm a qualified CPA working with outsourced tax and accounting firm Fusion CPA. In the coming weeks, I will be doing a series of videos designed to enhance your knowledge in NetSuite. I plan to delve into some of the most common questions our firm is faced with, and I hope to boost your confidence by showing you everything from creating custom reports, safe searches, managing dashboards, and more. Stay tuned. So as a NetSuite user, you can sometimes see yourself constantly downloading reports, either because you need to perform some analysis or combine NetSuite data with data that lives outside of NetSuite, or because you need to perform some final checks or reconciliations for your month and close, or because you need to share some analysis or some reconciliations with stakeholders that are not in NetSuite. Whatever the case may be, one of the best solutions is to automate that process by connecting to your NetSuite data. Fortunately, in NetSuite, we have various options, and one of them is called Web Query. How do we use Net Web Query? Well, let me show you. Right now, here on my screen, we have a very simple report for fixed assets. Uh, we only have three transactions, but let's say that I want to see this report live on my Excel. First, we need to go here to customization, more options, and then we will need to check this box right here called allow web query. After we do that, we save our report. In this case, I'm saving it because I do want to overwrite my current report. Now, after saving it, you will notice that you will see this new Excel icon on your screen. You click on it. Then you click on this arrow right here and click showing folder. We right click on the file that we just downloaded and we open it with notepad. We do this because we need to extract the NetSuite URL. That is what Excel uses to connect to the information. I always like to clean that extra data that I just deleted. And after that, you will need to replace this specific information right here. You will notice that it says, please enter your email address. That's the email address that you use to log into your NetSuite account. Very important, you will need to replace this information right here, including the square brackets, okay? Now, I will include my email. I will copy the URL. I'll go to Excel. In Excel, we need to go to data and either choose this from web right here or we go to get data from other sources and choose from web. In this case, I'll choose from web right here. And then we'll paste, we will paste uh, our URL, click OK. And then we will see this navigator screen right here. Every time you connect to a new report, you will see these two options right here, document and table zero. We will choose table zero. And then we will, we will need to click transform data. And that's because we, in order to use the data, we first need to perform some cleanup, cleanup steps, okay? Click on transform data. And then Excel will take us to the Power Query screen. 
Power Query Editor. Okay, right now we can see the hour information right here on these columns. So you can see the data comes with empty rows. All of these nulls right here represent empty rows. If you remember, in NetSuite, we only have three transactions. We can see them here. In order to use this, we need, like I mentioned before, we need to first clean up this a little bit. First, I always like to, re to name my queries. In this case, I know that I'm using a fixed assets report. We can rename our queries here or using this option right here on the right. Okay, next, we need to choose only the transactions that we want to see, right? So in this case, we can choose various columns right here. I was going to choose type, but I think I'll stick with date and I'll choose remove empty. Okay. Next step is to eliminate these equal signs on the amount. We can do that by right clicking on the column header then choosing replace values and we'll tell we will tell excel to find the equal signs and replace them with nothing in this case next we need to tell excel that these are numbers these are not text this abc icon that you can that you can, you can that you can see right beside debit means that Excel is reading that information as text, but we need to tell Excel that these are decimal numbers. That way we can perform aggregation, aggregations on the information. Okay. Now I think we are good. In order to save this information and close the screen, we go here to close and load. And very important, always choose close and low to. That way you can tell Excel how you want to store your query as a table or only as a connection. I will choose only create a connection because I want to be able to create different people tables with that data. Since I have power pivot in my Excel, I'll choose this box right here. That way I can create a data, data model with NetSuite data and any other data that I'm extracting from other business applications. Click OK. There. Next, Excel has connected to the data. Now, in order to see it, we can go in here, insert people table from data model. Click OK. Now, I can go in here and select the information that I want to see. In this case, if I want to see only the account and the amount, I choose these two options right here. I want to see these numbers as with the currency sign. So I'll go in here and select this option. Click OK. That way I will see the numbers with a dollar sign on them. In NetSuite, you have this $35,000 balance. So that means that we have the correct information. 
one cool one of yeah one cool feature in excel is that you can drill down on your data for example if i'm creating some kind of report that shows the summary or the balances on some specific accounts i can go in here and double click on a specific amount and i will see the detail on a separate tab of course i can always choose tabular form because i like to see information side by side of course i can always show the show the detail right on the pivot table right but if i'm creating financial statements that i'm only that i only want to see the total balance per account and then if i want to i can drill down by double clicking on the amounts i'll go ahead and get rid of these two tabs now let's perform one final test which we will update with a new transaction i'll create the new copy here the general entry i'll choose i'll include uh, thirty thousand dollars times my new amount then i'll go ahead i'll i'll save the new transaction go back to excel if i want to see updated information i will go in here to data and i'll click refresh all supposed to see a new amount here as you can see the amount has been updated and if i double click on it i will see the new thirty thousand dollar you know entry that I just created okay there are ways that you can automate the refresh process you can schedule you can tell excel to refresh every hour for example or every 30 minutes um and that way you don't have to you know every time you, every time you need to see updated information you don't need to go in here data and click refresh all um and there are ways that you can safely store and share this information um i will be discussing that and other uh, ways that you can leverage this feature this web query feature from netsuite in order to automate and streamline your business processes thank you for watching this video i hope it has enhanced your knowledge on the topic if you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. You can also find loads of other accounting software tips at our website at www.futuretaxes.com.